Well, hey guys, welcome back. Looks like I broke a belt on my ender. So right there, see the gold piece under there? That may be hard for you to see. Yeah, there we go. That's the end of the belt. So I got to get a set of pliers in there and dig that out. And there's going to be one on the back side too. If you look, there's two of them back there. One in the front and one in the back. So we're going to pause it. We're going to pull those out with a pair of needle nose pliers and then see if we can get the new belt in. And if you're curious what I'm using for a replacement belt, I have both the X and Y belts that came as a kit. Got these on Amazon. I'll put the link below so you guys can see it. There's the other side. All right, I'm going to assume these are labeled correctly. There's a Y axis and an X axis, and the belt is the Y, so let's try that one. I did see some of the reviews saying if they had an Ender Pro or something different that they had to reverse them. I don't know. We'll find out. I just have a regular Ender 3, so we will see. All right, guys, I got it down on the floor. I don't think there's going to be a way. I'm just going to have to, I think, unscrew the bed. And get it on there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll just have to re-level everything when I'm done I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but you got to feed. Looks like you got to feed it through this channel and wait for it to come out the other side. And then we'll put. There are some these notches right here. It's going to be hard for you guys to see, but the belt just slips into the notch. And the notch holds it in place. Same on the other side. Except in this one will come around the gear and then hook it into the bed right here. But, look at that. I think our belts are off. Let's... There's no way that fits, so let's try the X belt and see if that works. Let's get it past this pulley. Well, it feels like it got twisted in there. Let me straighten that out. So then we can hook it in this notch and then if we come around this side and we'll get it to go around the motor and get it into the bed right here. Now you can see our tension's a little loose. So we can come up here and unscrew this and just pull that out a little bit. Now before I before I put my bed back on, I'm just gonna check this. Because I don't know why it broke. But I think it's okay. It's moving okay. There's no hang-ups or anything. Running pretty smooth. Alright, let me get my bed back on.
Looks like I got a bad fan too. Oh boy, that's probably going to lead to some clogs. I'm going to have to take that apart real quick and fix that one. Before we do that, let's just, before we even level the bed, let's go down to prepare and let's just move our axis and see if we can even move the Y. Let's move it 10 millimeters. Looks like we can. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to disable the steppers real quick so I can get this all the way back to where it is. I don't want to auto home it because it's not level. So let me disable the steppers and then I'll push my bed back. And then I'll go back to move axis. I'm going to move the Y and I'm going to move it in 10 millimeters. Oh, we're still stuck. Oh wait, no, I'm on one millimeter, sorry. <laughs> Let me go up to ten. Yeah, looks like we're working. Just looking at the belt, make sure it's all lined up. It's a little off back here. Not bad. Now let's move it backwards. It does look like maybe our magnet piece is scraping against the power supply. I never noticed that before. I think it... What do you think? You think it's touching it? I think I will adjust that real quick. But it looks like everything else is good. No, I got it too far the other way. <laughs> there we go. I think we're clearing all sides. I think we're good, guys. What do you think? Now, just to recap, because it's probably dark, you didn't see it. There's just little notches. You get those metal pieces in under here. You can see the gold in there. It's just the notches that where the belts hold held in uh, and it wraps wraps around the pulley and then it goes into the middle of the extrusion the aluminum extrusion you can see the teeth of the belt right there yeah you may not be able to see this pretty dark but it goes through the middle comes back around around the motor pulley and back up over the top and into the back side of the, the y plate so pretty easy job uh the worst part is i gotta go back and level my bed now so i'll do that uh off camera but there's a quick one uh probably have a video coming soon replacing this fan i'm sure i've replaced that once already uh, but i need to get some stuff printed so we're gonna wait a little bit on that but there we go belt back in business we can start printing again let me level this and uh and we'll be done thanks <laughs> Not too bad. Just got it level. Looks like we're maybe a little high over here. I might just turn that tiny bit. See how this next one comes out. let it run guys and see how it goes maybe I'll come back give you a little bit here in a minute but so far it's going down all right guys I think it's good we're gonna call that good well hey guys uh, just a quick one today it's the white belts running we've we've done several prints on it everything's good um, 
I don't know how it even broke, but I do have a lot of hours on this printer when I think about how much I've printed on it, so tons of hours. But uh, anyway, that's all we have for today. Just a quick, easy job. It's, it is so much easier if you take that bed off and just go back and re-level it, which I'm so used to leveling my bed manually, it, it doesn't really bother me. So it just took maybe an extra five minutes to get it all done. Anyway, uh, any comments, concerns, how you do it differently, leave it below, and let's talk about it. We'll see you next time.